Hello everyone. I am Shubham. I am Randeep Singh. I am Ravneet Singh. And today we are going to talk about the reflective analysis of running shoes about our six different friends. Now I am going to talk about the introduction for our reflective analysis of running shoes. We are making this video for our digital marketing course. In this video, we are comparing the best six shoes companies that are Nike, Asics, Reebok, Adidas, Puma, and Fila. And we are using three different social media networks like Facebook, Blogger, and Twitter to make our blogs more successful. And in this slide, here are the links for our blogs on Twitter, Pinterest, and Blogger. Hi, I'm Randeep. Uh, my friend Shubhan gave you introduction in the previous slide. In this slide, I'm going to tell you about the Blogger. Blogger is a free tool offered by the Google that helps us to share our views to the people throughout the world for a specific topic. In this, our goal was to have a minimum of 75 users and we have only about 65 of it. So we did not really got our goal of reaching the users. In the next slide, my friend Ramneet will tell you about the Twitter. I'm going to share my information on Twitter. Twitter is a social media network that helps our blogger to reach through public by tweeting our posts. Uh, our target was to have minimum of 75 followers but we have done pretty good on this and we have 96 followers on Twitter and we have tweeted 21 tweets on it. Nowadays social media networks are playing a very good role in like promoting the brand and Facebook is one of them and like our main goal is to get the 60 likes on Facebook but we got 106 like that a very good thing about our band and now Randeep will tell you about Pinterest thank you so I'm gonna tell you about the our third uh, social media channel so it was pin interest in this uh, we can pin the things of our interest to our board so we pin the, the companies like uh, Adidas, Nike and other running shoes brands to, to know what strategies they are using and what the kind of things they are posting on the pain interest so that's all about the Pinterest. now I'm gonna talk about the time frame our main target was to reach the minimum 60 likes on our Facebook page and the minimum of 60 Twitter followers and 75 minimum blog users and we have to reach this goal in the five weeks uh, with the help of the Facebook, Twitter and the Google Analytics but, but we did good in the Facebook as we got 106 likes and in the Twitter we got 96 followers but uh, in the blog users we got uh, nearly 65 users Search engine optimization played a key role in our project in this we researched about the specific keywords and phrases which helped which helped audience for an easier search for our uh, for our blog while doing this process we got to know something new that is called bounce rate bounce rate is a percentage of visitors on our website who leave it after seeing only one page the lower the bounce rate will be the more popular our blog is becoming Keyword research helped the audience to reach to our blog. The top keyword sentences for our projects were uh, running shoes, gym shoes, forever faster, workout shoes, crossfit shoes, etc. I'm going to tell you something more about the keyword research. Low competition and higher relevance helps us to reach our target audience and have a better SEO ranking. The top keyword sentences used by our brands were Nike Air, Forever Faster for Puma. These helps us to have a better SEO ranking. Next, I am going to tell you about the content marketing for Essex. My main idea was to launch a new product that attracts more audience. Uh, my, in my product launch, my main focus was on bright colors. The shoes should be more comfortable, more lightweight. And for and my strategies for the promotion was is to plan the marathon run for to spread the awareness among the people. Also, buyer can have a better chance to win a free trip for three nights. This was to attract the more people.
Hello everyone, now I am going to talk about the content marketing for my brand Puma. Puma is one of the leading brands in designing, developing, selling footwear and apparel all over the world. And the main concern of this company is to help the company to increase their sales as well as profit. And the strategies we are choosing to achieve this goal is to aware the people about this brand at busy places so that they feel more attracted and they know more about our brand and shoes with that we are launching in the future now my friend Randeep will talk about his brand adidas now i'm going to talk about the adidas adidas is the leading shoes company in the market my idea for the adidas content marketing was to organize a marketing campaign with the help of the facebook and our strategy is to target all ages people like from children to the old ages people because they all wear running shoes and mainly we are targeting the youths which like to go to gym and work working out in the gym This picture is posted by Ravni Singh that shows facts and other related information about his brand. So now I'm going to talk about the Google Analytics. So Google Analytics it is a tool which helps us to get the useful data about our blog users, page views, etc. So it is very important for us to see the performance, like how good we are doing in our blogs, how many users we have, how good we are writing, and uh, uh, what uh, are the page views how many people are clicking on the second page and it gives the data per week and per day mm, that's it here is the overview of audience this gives information about the number of users visiting our blog throughout the world the table shows the number of users increasing per week Audience your language tells us about the people visiting our blog through the traditional languages. Here are the four languages that the people are visiting our blog. Uh, now I'm going to tell you about the audience geolocation. Audience geolocation tells about the blo our blog users, like which country the our blog users are in. Uh, here you can see the list of ten countries, which are Canada, United States, Russia, United Kingdom, and France. Australia hung and uh, Indonesia and Italy so it tells about the page sessions and average time spent on per page here is the acquisition overview here you can see that which channel help us the most for promoting our brand like we can see that the Facebook is one of the famous brand for making our product more successful than Twitter and blogger Behavior behavior overview tells us about the number of page views and this gives the unique information about the number of users visiting our blog per um, visiting our blog per page. Behavior site and content uh, tells us about the number of page views uh, per title. As you can see, the maximum page views are for the main page of our blog, which is a digital marketing message for running shows. We got total of 96 followers on our Twitter account. Hootsuite was the main component used in our project. Hootsuite was used to schedule the schedule our tweets to be posted on Twitter. So we use Hootsuite to post our posts on the Facebook. Mm, we our aim was to get a minimum of 60 likes on the Facebook, but we got 104 likes on on our Facebook page as you can see the graph and which uh, uh, week we got the maximum likes in the end we would like to conclude that that we have analyzed eight running shoes in our semester we have learned many things in the semester like SEO analysis how the Google Analytics works and in the end I would like to tell you about that the, all the brands are doing really good to make their brands popular 
Aitas did a great job in marketing. We can have that information from the Google search engine. Here is the end of our project. Thank you.